in sites like Orcha, we're being able to make a significant investment to bring each monument back in its entirety. Some monuments are in much greater need than others. Uh, some have been relatively well managed. The huge opportunity this project has offered is to see whether you have crafted and drafted and applied your brains to whether we can actually, it's workable. Two projects had a bit of a head start, which was the Lakshmi Narayan Temple in Orcha <laughs> and the Rai Praveen Mehal. The reason why we have the workshop in Orcha is because it gives us a very good opportunity for all of us to examine the work that we've achieved on these two structures and see what are the good things and where are the gaps. Once the documents go off the table of the conservation architects, it's not enough. We need to ensure with the same kind of partnership, with the same kind of rigor, that we achieve quality conservation practice on the ground. Should we be monitoring to then intervene or should we just intervene which, which intuitively feels right, then monitor and see whether they are active or passive, otherwise we can't wait forever to monitor. Everyone takes pride in good work. But is that good work being demanded? Is everyone insisting on that quality of work? Uh, are we appreciating the craftsmen? Are we appreciating the people who are putting in that extra effort to produce the best quality work? Building craftsmanship is intrinsic to a conservation process. Therefore, it is not that you're simply doing a conservation and looking at it as a, as a sort of a product in itself. It's a process in itself. We are removing a later edition which is not compatible to the original one and then applying the surface again, applying the lime plaster again in a way that it matches the original. What you have to do here in the garden is to capture what we call the spirit of the place. Yeah. So you try and it's like a jigsaw puzzle that then you have to put it together backed by sound research. I see here that the conditions of authenticity and integrity are very much alive. I see that there are, of course, there are management challenges to any side, but I see a whole lot of systems are in place here. Conservation is an ongoing process. Management and maintenance of your her heritage sites are something that really uh, requires continuous care. Heritage is a public good. It needs to be managed and protected by the government. It needs to be accessible to all. Well, this group of monuments, uh, along with its immediate cultural context, is, is a very, very good potential for its World Heritage nomination in future, sometime in future. So maybe the state could also go a step further and look into this aspect. So now imagine, no? the murmur of the water at night, the song of the nightingale, the fragrance of the kamini and the rukmini and the jasmine. I mean, it would have been magical, truly magical.